Are you a child? Do you have children? Do you know children? Do they use YouTube? Do they use TikTok? You might want to listen to this episode because on this episode, we're going to go through the hundreds, if not millions of online predators that you will find. And most of them actually own YouTube channels and TikTok channels. Not to say us, obviously. No, we could never. We could never. I mean, but, we're, we're basically children ourselves, so. Yeah, but seriously, guys, like, you know, you know, you know we always bring the news, right? Yeah. Respectfully. Respectfully. No other way of doing it, obviously. True. Dude. We bring the hottest news and, and the best takes on the news. Uh, most importantly, we're not a news channel, but there is there's been like way too many YouTubers coming out recently, and it's like the whole the whole online space is just like um, culminating with with these child predators. Um, so yeah, I want I want to talk a little bit about that. But uh, first, Nips, h- how you been, bro? Dude, I've been all right, man. I've been all right. This past week, hectic, man. Hectic. Not hectic. It's been nice hectic, you know? It's been full. It's been busy. It's been, like, I can't even remember Monday. So anti-boring, basically. Yeah, basically anti-boring. I remember Monday because you were waking up on my floor. That's how long ago it was, That's bro. how long ago it was. Or how long it feels because, like, today's what? Saturday? Friday? Today, it's only been, like, four days. Four days have passed and that <laughs> literally feels like so, like, ages ago, bro. Yeah, I've aged at least two years since last Monday. Oh, that's for sure, man. Yeah, that's like, for sure. I think I'm about ready to die. Yeah, I th- honestly, I think I got about a week left. Yeah. What about you, bro? When are you dying? I got to have a kid before I die, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, let's go adopt one this week. I bet. Then And then we can pass away respectfully. Respectfully, yeah, bro. Of course. We, we put our little mark on the world. Yeah, you know. And then the kid can't even say that we were bad parents because... We were there. We, we were there until when, we weren't. Yeah, when he was small, we were there, you know? Yeah, of course. Until we weren't. I. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to ask me about my week? Yeah, how was your week, bro? Uh, I don't know, bro. Kind of nice, kind of not nice. Bro, I know you worked on King's Day. How was that? Oh, uh, we'll get into that. Yeah. I mean, King's Day is one one thing and a half. But yeah, I did work on, on King's Day. No, but that is one thing, right, that we should address is that we're going to have a guest later on for King's Day. Right, but they're specialists. Specialists. So we're only going to... Uh, we actually don't know if you're going to call in one or two specialists, you know? We're going to see. But so you- like, Patrick, if you're listening, bro, I'm sorry, bro. I advocated to have you on the third episode, but Madison was like, yo, nah, no guests. But then we kind of do get guests. Yeah, because it's Kings that we had to bring in a specialist. Yeah, Patrick, you understand, man. Yeah, yeah, but Patrick, next episode. <laughs> We're just going to keep saying that. No? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yo, bef- uh, I, I don't, I don't want to start in too dark of a tone, but I kind of had to visit this topic because it's a big, big deal, I feel like. Um, so a lot of you guys will remember the George Floyd uh, situation. Um, and we finally had a trial, uh, a conviction. Derek Chauvin, the police officer who uh, murdered him, got guilty on three charges. He got second degree uh, unintentional murder, third degree murder, and second degree manslaughter. But so, th- wait, f- f- hold on. Like, yeah. That, first of all, like sounds mad to me. It's like, he just killed someone. Yeah. What are all these laws that are saying third degree, first degree? Like, isn't it just murder? There's three degrees of murder and manslaughter, I believe. Well, because there's nuances between uh, intent. Mm. You know, so for example, Nidoy, you know, you know, I want to kill you, right? Mm-hmm. And everybody knows that I want to kill you. So if then I kill you, that would be first degree murder because there'd be evidence of, of my intent that I literally just wanted to kill you. Damn. You understand? Now, if we, if I didn't know you and we happened to get into a fight and then I killed you, I, I believe that would be second degree murder because I'd never had intent or a plot to specifically kill you, but I just happened to kill you. Right. And third degree is more like accidental. Damn. But... I'll explain a little bit. I don't know the specifics of each charge, but I'll, I have a summary of what it means. Uh, so what that means is it was proven beyond reasonable doubt that he had intent to commit a felony before killing, right? Right. So it's not completely accidental. He was he had intent to commit a felony, and a felony crime is like a high-level crime. Yeah. So we're talking about like violence, assault. I believe they charged him with assault. Um. And it was, but it was not proven beyond reasonable doubt that he had direct intent to kill George Floyd, mm-hmm. which I think is kind of mad. It is a bit mad, right? Because to me, it looked like he did not give a fuck, and like the intent was there, like all along. True. It was like if it happened, it happened, and he knew. And like, also, like they knew each other before the incident, which is kind of did crazy. They? Yeah, they worked at the same uh, club, I believe. No way. But this is loose information, so don't take my ah, word on okay. this. But when did this come out? Like in the news? In, in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, already in the beginning when like, yeah, it yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Uh, but uh, m- maybe that died away because it wasn't true. I'm not sure. Right. But I think they worked in the same place. Whether or not they knew each other, I'm not sure. But, but like, I-, I feel like that has to be false, right? Because like, if Derek Chauvin was like a high- higher up in the police force, right, or something. Yeah. So like, how long ago was this that they knew each other? No, no, because they were both uh, working as security guards. 
allegedly. Oh, allegedly, because okay. I don't remember. I, I I didn't write it down or research it. But what I do know is the yeah the trial. Uh, it took sixty minutes for the uh, the verdict to come in. So so you know how the court works, right? You have um the the jury mm-hmm. who gets to decide, and usually it can take them like forever. But it just took sixty minutes. They came back. They said guilty in all three charges. My man, sh- not my man, the man, sh- <laughs> the man. <laughs> the not man. our man's. We the, don't, we, we don't, don't call him. him. We don't claim him at all. Yeah, the the man, Shovin, was taking notes, and then he got handcuffed and brought away. I, I wouldn't even call him the man. The 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 pusio. Nah, that that seems like you're making fun of the gravity of this man, bro. This devil. This devil. See, this, see. this absolute imbecile. Buffoon. I don't know. There's there's no justice, by the way, because. Yeah. A lot of people were saying, uh, okay, so now surely, you know, the black community is going to relax because they got their justice. But there's no real justice for when the homie dies, you know? Yeah. I mean, justice would be George Floyd going home. But also another thing that happened was like a lot of people were thanking George Floyd for this. Uh, Keep in mind that George Floyd never like intended to die. Like, who, 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 who was doing that? Because I know one person, but I don't think anybody else was doing that. No, there were quite a few people online on Twitter as well. They were like thanking George Floyd for this. Like, oh, you created this change. I'm like... That to that, me sounds no, ridiculous. That's ridiculous, bro. That to me no, sounds yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, I, I heard like, um, Nancy Pelosi saying it, which is the 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 top of the Democrats yeah. in the House. She said, uh, "Thank you, George Floyd, for his sacrifice. I want to shout out his family." <laughs> that, that's 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 too so mad, fucked, dude. No, that's you can't so do mad. that. Um, okay, what? Else, uh, okay, I wanted to say like the reason why this is historical, because for maybe some Europeans out there or just people who don't know about these things are like, "Yeah, of course he murdered him. He's gonna go to jail." But this is actually the first white police officer ever convicted for killing a black person ever in the state of Minnesota, which right. is where it happened. And now you're like, okay, then there must not be a lot of shootings. Wrong. There's like so many fucking shootings. And it and so many like, not even shootings, but just killing in all types of ways, right? Um, in the same state. In fact, like just not that long ago, so like I would say quite recently after George Floyd, there was the fucking Dante Wright shooting, which was literally like three blocks away from where they killed George yeah. Floyd. Uh, and this, this allegedly the, the police officer who sh- who shot um, Dante Wright, said that she shot him by accident, thinking that she had grabbed her taser, and instead it was an actual Glock. Which for anyone who knows about guns, which I don't, dude. But apparently, like you can't be grabbing a gun thing; it's a taser. Like that's impossible. But like this is America as well, where like they think they don't have a problem with guns. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's insane, <laughs> and and it's funny. Well, it's not funny, but people pointing out like a taser is yellow. Yeah, a gun is black. A taser weighs like nothing compared to a gun, and also your police officer. If it, it that's not an excuse, you know. Of course, like yeah. how do you confuse confuse a taser with a gun? Like true, true. That, that, that you can't. You're going to if any if I did that, that wouldn't stand in court, dude. I, I'm going to prison. Yeah, and then there were like also a lot of people that were like not only on social media on TikTok like all over the place. They were like also showing like how a taser for you to confuse a taser with a gun. You have to be dumb. It's ridiculous. You have to be dumb. Yeah, more than dumb. Yeah. I think you have to be so careless about life that you don't really think about what you're doing, you know? Or you haven't really thought about it before. Anyways, another... uh, (laughs) I mean, just another recent one that I feel like I have to bring up. Chicago, a 13-year-old boy shot. So you get the story, right? People get killed all the time by the police. Very few of them are justifiable. Um, And it's the first time ever that one gets committed, uh, convicted. For uh, for shooting a uh, or killing a black person in this case, so yeah, shout out to the jury, and I hope we see more like this. And yeah, we need change, bro, in America. Of course, but also here because I, I've been we've been hearing more and more because of BLM about police brutality in Europe, mm-hmm. and you got like France trying to pass a bill that if you film police officers, you're you can get convicted of different shit in Europe. In Europe, damn, that's that's France. Dude. Uh, and that was like the indirect response to people being super angry at police brutality in France. Right. So. But I, I can also bring this. It's it's not it's got nothing to do with like police or anything, but right. it's uh, more football news. And oh, bro, maybe I'll get into it later. I get into yeah. it later. But it has got something to do with a bit of racism. All right, all right. But I, I just want to say one last thing. I'm gonna link this in the in the description. Channel Five, which is the new channel for All Gas No Breaks. He quit All Gas No Breaks because there was some contract problems. He was getting mugged. And they weren't letting him do a political, um, not commentary, but filming, I guess, political videos. So he now has a place called Channel 5. This is an independent media guy. And he just goes and films what's going on and puts like a microphone in, a, in front of people's faces who usually never have a say. So I really like his content. I think he's got really good stuff. And for all of you motherfuckers who've never been to the US, 
go watch this video and you'll see what the real us is like because i feel like a lot of europeans they see the hollywood they think that's what it is now nah, bro go look at this video this is how like 50 percent of american people are and this is how they live like you know the u.s is messed up the, the dude, u.s is no one idea. messed up place dude, yeah because I, I always feel like with with people who've never been there here in europe they kind of get the wrong idea mm-hmm. it's not la but and it's even also LA is not LA, you know. <laughs> that is true, but also people that do go visit the U.S. like they just don't see those parts. They like yeah. tend to avoid it, or like they just tend to see the p- places yeah. that like are popular. Exactly, and, yeah. exactly. And like, I mean, it's getting hard to hide because even the big cities are becoming problematic now. Mm. Um, like literally, it's just encampments, dude. Yeah. Of like homeless people and all sorts of stuff. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend that you guys go check that out, <laughs> especially if you've never been to the U.S. Because yeah, if you haven't seen this side of angle of the u.s and you don't really know what the u.s is about all right bro should i just get into this uh, youtube controversy thing hey bro go for it yeah i, I think we had enough with america bro. <laughs> yeah fuck america all right so <laughs> moving on to american youtubers <laughs> bro <laughs> no, dude, actually how insane is it right how like there's child predators everywhere yeah it's insane dude i don't understand like i used to think it was like um, a niche thing dude no apparently the number of child predators is like huge it's like like if you put someone in power, there's a 50% chance that they're a child predator. But here's the problem that we don't see, right? It's not official statistics, by the way. I don't it's have not, yeah, of, of course, it's not <laughs> official statistics, but it's you, you would classify people. Like, what would you classify as a child predator? Someone who is trying to get um, nude pictures from minors. Yeah. And someone who is sending nude pictures from minors. Yeah. And someone who is doing anything physical with minors. Right. Or flirting. Right. Yeah, and what would you consider a minor? Like, who is a minor? anything under eighteen, bro? That's it. Yeah, unless you yourself like it depends on your, on the law of your country, you know. Right. Like, if you're under twenty and you're flirting with the, I don't know, sixteen to twenty year old. Yeah. Or a sixteen to eighteen year old. Sorry, in some countries that would be okay. Right, um, but you see the problem there, right? So. Yeah. It's because sixteen and seventeen. That's like a blurry ass line in no, many d- places. D- depends. Yeah, yeah. In America, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And if it's illegal in your country, you shouldn't do it. Of course. Like that's it. Mm-hmm. And also, generally, you shouldn't do it. If you're in doubt, get out of there. Stop yourself. Dude. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Um, but what's the story with these YouTube pedophiles, man? All right. So like, I've just. It, I feel like this year has been like the big, big hit year for for the YouTube. Uh, Child predator. So we got first of all, we already talked about David Dobrik. Dobrik, dude, I can't Dobrik. pronounce his name. You, you, you spelled name. it wrong as well, bro. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But I mean, we already talked about that. You already know. That's kind of like the introduction. And if you thought that he was bad, you have no idea what's coming up, bro. <laughs> um, but no, but David Dobrik's case wasn't like pedophilia though. It was no, just it, it assault. Wasn't. It, was it was just, just assault. assault. Yeah. It was just assault. I just thought I'd, I'd name drop him because you talked about him before. Because we can put him in the thumbnail. Yeah. Also, because okay, so nice clickbait. Uh, yeah, and I, I wanna I wanna go through like all the different genres and how they each have their own main big uh, pedophile guy, right? So we have uh, David Dobrik who just does vlogs and he's the king of vlogging and he had some trouble, not necessarily with pedophilia, although I do believe some of them were underage drinking, but that's different, I guess. Yeah, that's not um, pedophilia. But it's still like predatory and yeah. on on the border, you know? And in any case, there's definitely um, rape. Yeah, it's night. assault. It's assault. Sexual assault and yeah. rape, yeah. So, yeah. Um, then we got Call Me Carson. Bro, we, we have not heard from him like ever since. Dude, poor, this <laughs> Dude. guy was like the biggest Minecraft YouTuber. To a certain extent, he was getting super big. Yeah. He was like, he showed up everywhere and like everyone's videos, everybody wanted him. He even showed up with K-Size videos. True. Even PewDiePie, bro. Even PewDiePie's videos. And like, so, it, it's so sad to see that he just... Dude, the, nobody's safe, bro. I don't understand. So this guy, okay, this is guys by far the, the, the least, the like the least concerning on my list, but it's still fucked up. Yeah. Because he was, um, so he has two girls who, who are, yeah, have allegations against him. Uh, they were both aged 17, so that's just under 18. Uh, and he was between the ages of 19 and 20. Yeah. So the first one, he was 19. The second one, 20. Um, so that's nowhere near as bad as some of the ones I'm about to get into here. But, you know, still fucked up. What the hell are you doing? And first of all, it doesn't matter even if the age difference isn't even that big or if they were both consenting adults. You should not be flirting with your fans and trying to get pictures from them, you know? No, yeah. Because there's a power dynamic there that's fucked. And that's the biggest issue that I have is that he was asking for pictures and he was saying, yeah. he was coining it as if it was okay that, ah, oh, it's fine, you're 17, you're going to turn 18. That's just fucked, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I think in those DMs, uh, by the way, a part of this is like all these YouTubers got caught in 4K like you've never seen before. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, we've always had... Dude, uh, the digit, I'm telling you, like 2021, oh, <laughs> caught in 4K all <laughs> over the place. All over the place. Dude, like, bro, 5K coming soon. <laughs> 5K. <laughs> Dude, VR, catching YouTubers in VR. Dude. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, 
it, for a long time this thing has been hidden but now with these online influencers it's just so easy to catch them and you have all the messages right there um so yeah it's it's kind of interesting i guess but also i mean it's like pulling the curtain back imagine if we did this to all the other times in history and and industries how many of the good people we admire were actually just pedophiles you know oh dude probably like half <laughs> yeah but also what it's a bit tough right it's it's a bit of a tough situation because like in countries like india or like in countries like bangladesh it's completely fine to like marry like someone who's like 14 16. according to the who uh, according to the law yeah yeah but not according to you yeah yeah yeah, yeah of course yeah, okay. just to clarify yeah, 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 yeah. although you're bengali uh, yeah but not 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 right now not right now i'm italian as fuck yeah, yeah you're oh you're italian i'm italian as fuck yeah that, that's chill um but anyways this guy asked for photos as i said uh, no, no not me call me carson asked for photos yeah 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 nilo asked for photos as we uh, said <laughs> <laughs> now call me carson we should probably start stop joking at this point because yeah. it gets really grim from here so james charles bro this this guy he got caught three years ago no doing this he apologized he said he's gonna stop he said uh he didn't he didn't realize what he was doing he didn't realize they were underage and then recently once again he's gotten caught dude I don't know how you can get caught twice. That's kind of embarrassing. Dude, James Charles is like one of those people who's like, you have such like, so many people looking up to you, so many people watching you, and you still go out and do that stuff as if like, oblivious to the fact that he cannot get caught. It's like, it's yeah, ridiculous he, to me. He's really big. Yeah. Um, and like, okay, so we, we had the, the top vlogging guy involved in that thing. Then we had the, the big Minecraft guy. And this guy's a beauty vlogger and uh, sells beauty products and does like makeup yeah. tutorials and other stuff like that um and this guy yeah as i said he already got caught he did it again and what he does is so brutal dude he he goes into people's dms on snapchat he he tries to get photos he flirts he tries to get things going as soon as he gets what he wants or the other person starts acting a little sus in his from his perspective like uh you know this might be troublesome for his own reputation he instantly like gets the fuck out of there and he blocks them right so he blocks them and and he does this to be like, you see, as soon as I realized they were underage or I smelled something off, I blocked them. I blocked them. But like, that is not okay. Cause like he knew and like, yeah. he knew he was manipulating as well. It's and also it's like, it's so rough. Like, how are you going to do that to a young person yeah. who looks up to you like a 15 year old who like a big fat girl and you go in and then all of a sudden you're flirting with them and she's like, what the hell's going on? You like, you probably traumatize them a little bit and then you just block them. You're like, you cannot contact me ever again. That's that's really messed up, man. It's manipulating. It's manipulation, and it's like not okay, dude. Yeah, and and don't quote me on this, but I believe he got caught again recently. If I think he got caught the same day he posted the apology video, his new one. He, he posted an apology video on this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. and his apology video was messed up on its own because he basically turned starts by saying, "This is really embarrassing. I've already been caught once. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught again." And then it turns into, I, I, I shit you not, it turns into like a dating profile video. But here's, here's the thing with apology videos and like the problem that I have with them is like, who are you apologizing to? Yeah, he's, he, this guy was apologizing to, to his family members and to the audience. And that was, he made that very clear because then he, he put the blame on the victims, dude. He said, I feel cheated. I'm embarrassed that they were able to do this to me. And I should have done more research to realize they were underage. So Research to do that. Dude. Dude, so basically, well, first of all, he contacted them on social media and they've gone through the people he, that are, are throwing the allegations and all of them had their age in their profiles or a lot of them at least. So, or, or in any case, it's evident that they are underage and if not borderline and you should know better, right? And so this guy, he ended, like his video started going towards like, yeah, he literally said, I'm just a very lonely guy. I'm looking for love. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking for someone I can settle down with in the long term. So what was it? Was it not also him that like uh, was targeting guys that were not like gay? He yeah, exactly. Like, there was a point where like he was yeah, targeting no, straight guys and, and like, young people. Yeah, and it's messed up because now old interview clips are coming up where he talks about how he targets the youngest person in the room, and he's very persistent and he loves people who aren't gay. Yeah, uh, but you know, at least at least what what we knew at that point was that those people who are not gay were at least um, adults. You know. Yeah, um, and I mean, it's still messed up though still messed up yeah but now i mean underage people and getting caught so many times and as i said i believe he was caught like the day after or if not the same day that he posted a new apology video yeah by the way the apology was so horrible wait how, how was it actually like describe it i didn't watch it you didn't watch it he was just nah. in front of the camera like all the youtubers do um and he was just yeah as i said he's like uh i can't believe they would do this to me and i'm sorry for not for for falling for it as if he was getting scammed or something 
Damn. You know? But when in reality, he knew what he was doing and it's evident by the way he just blocks them as soon as he gets what he wants. Um, no, that sucks. That really sucks, man. Yeah. And so if we had, <laughs> if there was real justice, and I'm going to steal this line from the H3, but if there was real justice, uh, James Charles would be in jail right now. He, he, he definitely should be in jail. Because right? there's way too much evidence. Yeah. And and then he comes out and has a nerve to apologize and then make it into a dating video as if he doesn't understand that this is not just YouTube drama. You're going to jail. Do you know if uh, like all this has been taken to court? Or is no, it, it's not, just, not yet. It's not still yet. like just YouTube drama. Yeah, right? I believe. Damn. Um, but I mean, he should go to jail. And uh, ironically, at least YouTube demonetized him. So if you're a pedophile, you know, online, it's fine. You don't get to make money. That's you don't about get to make money even though you already made so much fucking money. And you're still going to make money selling your beauty products, you fucking filthy thing. Yeah. And uh, we'll see. I hope he goes to jail. I really do. I I don't know. Jail's... Here's a problem that I have with jail as well. It's like... No, yeah. I think he does belong in jail. Yeah, he does belong in jail, but also jail in America, no one belongs there except for like very few (laughs) people, you know? Like that's that's like sending someone straight to hell. Yeah. Like, okay, put him in the Norwegian prison. Norwegian prison. Yeah. yeah. Just don't just make sure he doesn't have fucking Wi Fi, dude. Cause every time he does, it's it's like No, he he, he might like prison though. Bro, like five <laughs> All right. <laughs> dude, we can't go there, dude. dude. Five minutes on Snapchat and he's snapping thirteen year olds, yeah. you know? This guy is addicted to it. Clearly. Anyways, next on the list, you thought TikTokers were safe? Nah, bro. You know the big uh Tony guy? I do not know Tony. Tony but you don't know Tony. He's no. the guy who's always dancing. He's on the meme pages quite often. I have no clue, bro. Really? I, I don't follow these people. No, no, no. But but the meme pages that I know you follow. They had him for a while. Like the Tony guy. Was he, he's probably just one of those that dances along. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He shows his abs and stuff. Yeah. Were you saying something now, right? No. I mean, I, I was going to say that if there's pedophiles on, on, on a platform, TikTok would be it. Yeah, TikTok is it, man. <laughs> TikTok would be it. Dude, that's one of the reasons why I didn't... I, I like deleted my TikTok as soon as I downloaded it. Because the first thing I saw was... Uh, girls between the ages of like 13 and 16 dancing is not a is not a no i mean it it depends because like there there is also a lot of um underage girls that are like doing all that stuff and like the question is is it okay and yeah i mean in my opinion yeah it's fine but no in my opinion no yeah i mean no like dude if you're there should be no platform for sexualizing minors yeah and that's what they're doing and they're getting views for it and that's why they keep doing it I, I show you not like there was an Instagram not an Instagram live but a TikTok live the other day yeah, where yeah. it was literally I, I show you not I think they might have been underage kids and uh, the whole point that she was getting views on her live is because she had um, let's say she matured way too early or something yeah and she was jumping on, on stream and that's the only reason she was getting viewers and you were there no you I, dirty motherfucker no, no, no it, <laughs> it's stuff that I get rec- it, it's, it's also it, wild because oh, it's, it's stuff, stuff that gets, you get recommended <laughs> no it, not no, like that dude. Saying. Like seriously, I downloaded the TikTok fresh, yeah. never been on it before, and like five out of ten videos were underage girls like showing their ass. Yeah. Like not not bare anything, but like you know shaking yeah. it for the camera, and they get hella views, and that's why they do it. But also, if anybody's wondering, my TikTok's hella lit. If anybody wants to follow me, no, <laughs> link in the bio, link below. Me, link about, all right, all right. I, well, I don't post anything, but dude, uh, l- let me get through this right. So, so the the two brothers, this was these guys were really caught in 4K. Yeah, the mom filled a phone call with him, because because he literally entered a relationship with these young girls, yeah, who were minors. And the mom called him, was like, "Yeah, you know what you're doing, yeah." And she's like, "Yes," and she she's like, "Are you aware that you can go to prison?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm aware." What he was the just fuck? Like, fucking cold uh, about it, but. Yeah, okay, so that's TikTok. I don't know too much about these guys, so I don't want to say any that much. But this last story, which is what inspired me to to talk about this, is like, this is when I realized that it, how how messed up the situation is, right? So now you have so many pedophiles on YouTube that you literally got pedophiles catching pedophiles. Dude. All right, um, so we got this guy called EDP445, right? Mm-hmm. And this guy got caught in 4K for real. So there's this other group who pose as minors, and then they started flirting with him online. And the guy flirted back and send, ended up sending dudes, basically. Is that how it's going? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but here's here's the part that made me laugh a little bit. The guy who's sending nudes, right? Or who's posing as the minor. Yeah. Gets these pictures from other minors. Do you understand? Wait, so, how does that work? Wait, so, that's so, so, so to up. catch So to catch pedophiles, uh, <laughs> allegedly. You have to be a pedophile to catch pedophiles. No, he is po- what you're trying he, to say. He poses as a minor. And to get to pose as a minor, he gets photos and, and stuff from other, from actual minors. 
and then he sends it to these youtubers hoping that they'll reply as bait that has to be legal or some shit bro yeah exactly so basically now there's so many pedophiles on youtube that you have pedophiles catching pedophiles that, that is not okay <laughs> that's fucked up man and this this is when i realized oh, okay it's it's gone under hand man and, and is this only america so yeah far? yeah but but here and and like it gets even more inception than that you know because they're both part of the QAnon trump movement yeah who are, are allegedly you know trying to catch pedophiles in the government so you got pedophiles catching pedophiles who are both underneath the same movement who are supposedly trying to catch pedophiles in the government. Damn. So yeah, that's that's the end of mine, bro. That's that's all I gotta say. Hey man. Super League? You know, remember when like we were saying or like I was saying how the Super League is terrible? Yeah, yeah. I think they should have fucking done it, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Why, bro? No, dude. Bro, Roma lost yesterday six two, bro. <laughs> Fuck Manchester, <laughs> man. Wait, who did lose against? Manchester United. Oh, that's my team, dude. I stopped falling a long time ago. Fuck you, bro. I do love Man United. <laughs> Dude, I got so depressed last night. It was like, I was watching the first half with a friend and uh, it was 2-1 for Roma. I was like, ah, oh, dude, beautiful half. Right, right, right. Like, my friends messaged me, they're like, yo, you guys had like a wonderful half and shit. I was like, yeah, true. But? Second half, shit went down, bro. How, so how many? Shit she went south. How many goals did you let in in the second half? Bro. You can just put the cat away, by the way. Yeah. She's on your laptops, bro. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I had, um, they, they did five, bro. <laughs> I right, sorry, bro. No, it's Cat right. interruption. They scored five goals, bro, in the second half. Oh, I got depressed. Who's bro. your goalkeeper, bro? Here's the thing, right? First half, our goalkeeper got injured. Uh, he he did one amazing save, and then he got injured. The Zanktis? No, no, no. He doesn't play no, there. Dude, the Zanktis left like so long ago. Yeah, I, I remember. It was that. like something Lopez. Lopez. Lopez is like our main goalkeeper. Sounds like a bad goalkeeper. Dude. You should get. No, he, he's pretty. He's pretty fucking good, bro. Yeah, he's pretty fucking mint. He saved an amazing goal. And then you know what happened? What, bro? He got injured because he like landed on his shoulder. Uh, Man United be doing that, you know? True. Staged. True. Paid. But the, the thing about the Super League, right? Yeah, Basically, yeah. Um, some motherfucker thought it would be a good idea to like have 12 clubs. Right. The top, 12 top clubs. And Europe. I have no idea who decided this because like Tottenham was in there and like, what the fuck? <laughs> Tot- Tottenham hasn't won <laughs> shit in like so fucking long. Yeah, and so like, I, th- I think we're talking about top clubs in like... And, money and wise money wise yeah and uh this was going to be like uh it's go- it was going to replace the champions league almost because it interfered with like the time slot with the champions league yeah, yeah yeah and the huge deal with this was that if you join you get a collective like all these teams get a collective of 3.5 billion each right so not bus- each like they get a collective deal. it was basically a business deal yeah yeah sign the treaty you join you get like a share of the 3.5 billion what's the treaty bro that's like wartime shit it's not a treaty it's just like you sign up to like contract. join the league a you contract just don't to know how to speak. yeah <laughs> sorry, we, sorry. We, we call it a treaty man I treat. uh i and uh 12 clubs joined two clubs actually declined and these two clubs were Bayern Munich and Paris Saint-Germain oh, PSG dude, these two two clubs they do be good they PSG yeah, yeah no, mean, but yeah in, in all fairness they do be good though they do be good and what basically happened is that uh, they said no, but the other 12 clubs went ahead with it. And yeah. the chairman of this entire thing was going to be the owner of Real Madrid. Yeah. The owner of Real Madrid was going to be the, like the head chairman. And he's already rich as fuck. He's already rich as fuck, dude. And he's going to rig it. Yeah. And for you know Real why? Madrid, by the way. Yeah. But you, you know why like this was like a huge outbreak and why everyone hated it? And it created like a huge toxic vibe like everywhere around the world why bro it was gonna ruin football for everyone bro yeah because th- th- the whole point of football is competition bro, right really, like. but at, at this point it just becomes money backs playing on the pitch it's but like, that's oh i feel like it's been the case for at least 10 years you know and it, it, it's more recently more so recently this is why i stopped so. watching because i realized it's just about the money it yeah. is it is who can buy the best player like people were like joking around like underneath comments they were like oh if they could they'd have ads every five minutes instead of the game yeah, five true. minute five minute rounds with like five minute ads each time dude like, if they could every player would if they could they would bro if they could they if would if they could every player would like play by himself and just have like um a diff- like every player would have a different brand yeah. on their t-shirt you know and what pissed everyone off including me was because apparently if you played in this league in the super league not yeah. only is it like co- like confidential only to themselves right the right. 12 best teams they don't get to play with other teams you mean exclusive exclusive so there's no league it's just them 12 it's just them 12 right right, right. but apparently there was talk about um letting five or four more people on like at certain points of the at certain points right 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 but that was going to be a whole separate thing but okay. it was go- in general it's just going to be those 12 and right. why this is fucked up is because like those 12 clubs any of the players on those clubs are contractually binded contractually binded to yeah. those teams and they have to play on the super league binded by the treaty binded by the treaty bro and they cannot play international football 
Right. So, so that means play, no. No, you mean national football for for their nation. International right? or national, yeah. Oh, okay. So you can't play for your national team anymore. Exactly. And that screwed everyone up, bro. It like made everyone pissed off. It was like, bro, it was not okay. All right, all right. I see what it's you're like. Saying. Football is no longer the game that we all love, bro. I mean, I I, I think it's it's straying away from there, and um. The, the, I, th- I had an interesting reaction because I watch American news a lot mm-hmm. and they even covered this. Yeah. And it was funny because they said like, oh, it's, they want to turn it into the NFL basically. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was going to be exclusive and like that's what everyone hated about it. The exclusivity of it. Yeah. And how like these players weren't able to like go out or say anything because they were binded right. by contract. It's funny because the because the Americans covering the story were like, you know, if you said that in America, people were like, oh, that's awesome. The 12 biggest teams, let's go. No. But in Europe, no, because the sport is about the community. and It, it is. It's about um, football is built so much around the community. Yeah, it's and, about like, the, the competition. Fans, you know? and, yeah, and how do you know you how do you know how nice it is as like a fan of like a smaller football club to see them go up against the big leagues and win? Oh man, bro, that amazing. brings so much joy. Well, who who was the ones who won the the British league? Who were like not? Did you just call it the British league? The, what what do you call it? Liga, A, Serie A. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so. It's no, usually last year it was like Liverpool, I think. This no, but year there was like two years ago, or th- no, even longer. But this really small team um, that like all of a sudden won the the British league. Yeah, um, Leicester. Leicester, Leicester City. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, when Leicester won, oh my god, even I cried a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I heard, <laughs> I heard it was good times. But okay, yeah. so what's the takeaway, bro? Super League, bad. But People, it failed because everyone pulled out. Now it, it did fail. Everyone pulled out. The afterwards. pressure worked. Pressure worked, worked from the fans. Yo, here's my takeaway, bro. Uh, capitalism, no, no way, bro. Because like, you, because the, the players who were the ones who were putting in the work had zero say in this you know how are you gonna have football where the players who play the sport they don't get a say at, at all yeah as they're well. just they just get moved around like pieces yeah. you know like chess pieces capitalism for not okay in football not okay in not football. okay in football bro but like this is how what was res- like this is resembling more and more most workplaces yeah with the people making the business work the actual workers have zero say in what's going on and get exploited for money you know i mean not to make it too political or anything but i feel like ah. you say you get what i'm saying yeah and this was like a very good example of that yeah. i feel like and the fans, by the way, also, nobody gave a fuck about the fans. What, what do you mean? Like when they made this decision. Cause no, because yeah. they actually like put out a statement saying that we know what the fans might say and we're ready to accept it, but we're going to move ahead because exactly. we want the money. So, that so, was ridiculous, bro. So it's like, it's very clear that money is worth more than fans. And yeah. So if the people working, who are essentially working for the fans, that's probably their passion, right? For the sport and for the fans, they don't get consulted in the decisions. And the people... Who are driving the business, the consumers, the fans, they also don't get consulted for the decision. It's just fucked, you know? The only people who, who get to make the choices are the ones in power who, who have nothing to do with the sport, you know? You know what's truly fucked, bro? Hey, tell me. Last night, 6 2, bro, Roma, what the fuck? Hey. We're gonna need a miracle in the second half oh, or I, second I, leg. Oh, we need a miracle in the second half of this podcast. No, we need a miracle second leg of the game, bro. But we also need a miracle second half of this podcast. Tune so in. We, to we, find might, out. we might call in a, the, our specialist. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like we got two specialists on the line. <laughs> um, so as we said in the beginning, hey bro, fuck it. Kring, 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 kring. Hey, who's there, bro? Hello. Hey. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, okay. But for real though, we we brought our two Dutch friends over because, um, yeah, you know, we want to talk about King's Day as we said in the beginning, and we do not know that much about it. And so. despite you guys thinking that we might be Dutch, we're actually not. Who said we're Dutch? I mean, fuck it, bro. We at this point we live here. We might as well be call ourselves Dutch. All right. So, um, any of you can answer this. But what exactly is King's Day? When did who who started it? That's what I want to know. All right. I'm yeah. not sure. Go for who, it. I'm not sure who started it, but I do know that it's just the birthday of the king. And before we had King's Day, we had Queen's Day, and that was not on the birthday of the queen. It was on the birthday of the previous queen. But this king was like, nah, we're not doing that again. We're just doing my birthday. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Okay. I, I heard something about this. So so basically it changed to the king's birthday. Yeah. All right. But do you still do Queen's Day or not? Nah? No. And okay. So have you, you were old enough to experience both, I bet, right? Yes. Which one's better? Queen's Day or King's Day? Um... I think for me, I haven't celebrated King's Day that much yet because of COVID for two years. And before that, I had one year of being 18. And if you're not 18, it's a bit harder to go out. And that's what for me, King's Day is more about. For me, Queen's Day was a day where you would sell old stuff. 
And that would be really nice when you're eight years old. Yeah, like a flea market type of deal, right? Yeah. Right, that's yeah. true. That's one thing that I heard when I went out on King's Day is that apparently there used to be a lot of flea markets and you used to be able to go uh-huh. buy and buy stuff. Uh-huh. Is that still a thing? or? Uh, I mean, I, I haven't really seen it past few years. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the weather or something. But yeah, it's something I linked to Queen's Day, not, not to King's Day. Yeah, that's totally right. All right. So, but is Queen's Day still a thing? Or no. is that over? No, it's just only the day uh the thing is it's only for the like highest ruler of the country so we have a king and a queen right now but it's only the king and when we had a queen we didn't have a king because she was from the royal royal family and the king wasn't from the dutch royal family hey bro don't worry next year it's gonna be my day because the biggest one the ruler you know you're gonna take over the netherlands yeah pretty much why not all right, so we got two Dutch people here. What do you say um, to your new king, Nilo? Like, okay, are you satisfied with him? What, okay, h- how do you become a Dutch king? Like, what what cri- what are the criteria? Let's say. I don't think you have to do a lot, uh, to be honest. Like, I'm not even aware of what the king does. He doesn't do shit, but you have to like be in that the royal perfect. family. That sounds perfect. You you have to be born into it. That's the hard part. So or you I... can marry one of the princesses, but then you won't be king, but prince. Okay, but you see, I, I tried marrying into the, the British royal family, uh, but then they started asking about the skin color of our kids, and they, and it was like just a really racist vibe o- overall. So I wanted to know, do you think the Dutch royal would, would treat me the same way, or are they a little more accepting? I would hope not, but I don't... Oh, you hope they're not, as, <laughs> they're not accepting? <laughs> no, I, I would hope they wouldn't do it the same way, but I'm not familiar too familiar with the, them, so... All right, so Nila could be the king. Prince. You could be the queen. And we could uh, have that kid that we're talking about. Fair enough. Sounds good. All right, you, you guys are allegedly not a couple, right? Can, can, is that, is that, <laughs> is that fuck, fair man? to say? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so can I ask <laughs> you, because me and Nila have been talking about this. When, when is a respectful age to have kids? 30. 30. 25. 25. Hey, my man. You see, I agree with the 25. Yeah, the earlier, too. the better. Because when you get older, you, you're not going to be able to handle the kids. Exactly, my dude. Yeah. At 25, you might be, st- still be studying. No. Studying? No. No. Yeah. You're messing up. Like, you're doing something wrong already if you're studying at that age, right? Hey, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Hey, true. Dude, are you undecisive or something? Finish your study. Uh, unless you're a doctor or something, then. Exactly, or maybe you want to do multiple masters or a double no. bachelor. Hell no, I don't, I don't even <laughs> we're want not to do doing master, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it's also the question is it for the man or for the woman? Because if you usually there's a, an age difference where the man is older, so oh, that's, that's a good question. I mean, I guess uh, everyone point. has their own preference, right? Fair point. All right, but before we get to that, another question that I have is what's like a good age gap that you can have between like your significant other and you like how long is how old is too old or like yeah where do you cut it off yeah where do you cut it off yeah i mean I, i'm i'm pretty like i think pretty free in this approach like i think whatever you think is right is right you know i think it kind of depends on the people as well like how mature the people are what stage of life they're in what they're doing with their lives i just want to say if at least everyone is like uh adults adult yeah, oh, yeah then, good take oh that's that, really interesting that's take. quite important <laughs> like unless you're like 17 and 18 that's fine but does this also apply to online influencers by any chance yes oh you should probably go tell them eh? hey, yeah. yeah just say <laughs> no it's because the first half we had like 10 different guys they got ex- exposed this week oh, but yeah so that's kind of tough but um so, so you guys are hard on that 18 rule then yeah for sure okay. Okay. yeah i feel like Oh, do you have varying uh, arguments on that? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm just like, it, let's say we have a couple, it's like 18 and 16. Right. I, I don't see anything wrong with that, but maybe that's just me being weird. No, I mean, I agree with that, actually. 18, 16 is fine, but I think context also matters and the way. Yeah. Yeah. Also, when one is 18 and the other one is So you went younger. back on that statement real quick. Well, what I, what, I, I what I happened? Never, like, no, I was never on the hard eight. Like, technically, 18 should be where it's cut off at. Okay. But, you know, there's always that thing of, like, when you're in high school and, like, what if you meet someone in high school? There's obviously going to mm. be someone that's two years younger than you or, like, one year younger than you. 
might even be like the same age, age as you, but five years younger. No, five. <laughs> what are you doing? That's five years younger. Nah, 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 nah. No, but, but that's also the question. Where do you draw the line then? Because I think that's more interesting. If you're 18, how young can you date? Yeah, what do you guys 16, think, think about this formula? That uh, I think it goes like you divide your age and uh, at seven, at seven, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah what this is what about that rule? No, it, it, I mean it's just a formula that we everyone has. Okay, so you divide your own age and then you add seven. Yeah, yeah, and that's like how young you can go. All right, so if we're looking at 18, let me do some quick math. That's like 9 plus 7? 16. 16. Yeah, that's fair. Fair enough. Yeah, and then if you're like 50, 25. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah, 25 plus 7. It gets a bit murky, like, the older you go, but... Yeah. I mean, 50 and 32 is all right. That's fine. (laughs) Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I'd say it's fine, yeah. I mean, it gives off gold digger vibes, but... Not if... uh, That's fair. (laughs) Not if it's like my dad, where uh, it's... uh, yeah, she's the one who owns the house. <laughs> it's definitely not rich. So. All right, all right. <laughs> um, so, wait, wait, are you saying that only girls can be gold diggers then? Or what are you trying to imply here? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe my dad is a gold digger. <laughs> I've been looking at it wrong the whole time. <laughs> Damn. Nah, nah. Hey, yo, by the way, today I should have a new little sister, by the way. That's completely off topic. But Congratulations. To oh, shit. Congrats, bro. Congrats, yeah, that half sister, just to be clear. I mean, still a sister. Yeah, bro, you got to speak in the mic, bro. I'm going to shoot you. No. <laughs> still a sister, though. Yeah, yes, yeah, of yeah. course, still my sister. Yeah. I got to go meet her, but we got COVID going on. So that's, that's epic, awesome. man. When are you plan on going? Uh, next week, but I'm not going to go, probably. Because, uh, I mean, I had vacation next week, but then COVID's looking kind of strong, and the restrictions are still in place, so I might have to go in the summer. Yeah. yeah. So where, where are you from, by the way? Like, where's your sister oh, yeah, being yeah, born? Yeah. By the way, uh, fun fact, um, one of the guests here, the homie Antoine, uh, he's never met us before. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So, yeah, we, yeah. We just brought him in just like that. But yeah, so I'm half Danish and half Bolivian. Okay. And yeah, but I grew up mostly in Italy, which is where I met this guy and also uh, my girlfriend, Michelle, there. So yeah. You, bro? Where I was born or? Where? I don't know, bro. Where are you from? I'm from Italy, man. I'm from, from Italy, Italy, okay. Yeah. yeah but yeah, my, can't you tell, bro? This is the most yeah. Italian guy. Most Italian guy ever, man. <laughs> you, got the, you got the Mario mustache going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but like my parents are from Bangladesh. So okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, what's your guys' story? I know Lise, she's fully Dutch. Yeah. And fun fact, you have two moms, which I think is pretty cool. I do, yeah. Um, yeah, how's that, by the way? Still going good? Yeah, still going good. <laughs> They're living life. It's fun having two moms. It's yeah. a good, like, icebreaker, I guess. I think it's one yeah. of the first things I tell people when I meet them, just because it's a fun fact. No, I mean, I would say that was one of the first things I learned about you. And That's that, true. That was a good fact. I mean, to be fair, it's like you say it was a good icebreaker, but like when we first met, you never said that. It was actually, I found it out through Mattis. Mattis was the one that brought it up first. He was like, oh, do you know, by the way, this is Lise? Her parents are lesbians. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I might have forgotten it. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Antoine, where are you from, man? Yeah, man. I mean, Netherlands, born and raised. Uh, my dad is from Africa and uh, my mom's just fully Dutch. All right. Um, wh- where in Africa? Cameroon. Cameroon. All right, yeah, Michelle guessed it. I, I was guessing something else. I don't remember, but Cameroon. All right, she pays attention, man. I should I should try paying attention. Has she ever been on the podcast? Uh, no, she she refuses to speak online. We we got twenty five euros, by the way, so like no no pressure. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Uh, for now. Yeah. I mean, shout out to like we had like two episodes hit hundred, so that was kind of nice. But shit, that's it. Um, let's get back on topic though. So King's Day. Um, ha- ha- okay. Let's say it's King's Day today. We just woke up. What, what, what are we going to do? What's the day looking like? Man, you got to contact everybody, you know, make some plans, you know, drink some beer. I mean, the weather is kind of shit right now. So I'm happy today is not King's Day. But right, right. yeah, just got to have a good time and be with as many friends as you can be with. I think you go out to a park as well and have there a few beers. And then later on, you have dinner together or separately, not like a cooked dinner, just take out. And then maybe usually, usually when there's no COVID, you would go out in the evening, party uh, a bit. I think I that's I think that's King's Night actually. Oh, that's King's Night. That's true. That's the night before. Wait, so you have King's Day two days in a row? Yeah, this is a pretty funny story. So back in the day, I used to think that King's Night and King's Day was on the same day, right? Because that kind of makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. 
me and my buddy we were like drinking getting prepped like oh man we're gonna we're gonna smash it up you know in the clubs we were 18 ready to go out and then we like noticed that it was completely empty in the streets right <laughs> there was nobody there we were like what the hell is going on and we checked and turns out like king's night is the night before right right so it's a so pretty you rough year out one night too late or, yep or, yep so on king's day you just it's mostly during the day exactly. and then at night nothing happens or what yeah yeah usually you also have festivals everywhere so also at night king's night you also have a few festivals or like outside thingies i'm and not sure it, you can call them festivals and is it festivals also in the morning of king's day right like on during king's day you guys also have festivals yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but not this year obviously because of covid but exactly but also king's day was really fucking nice this year though like despite there being covid the weather was the weather was dude. meant for king's day exactly right? can i ask how did you celebrate it right i went out to the center first I could not drink or anything because I was fasting. I'm still fasting now. Um, then uh, shout out the Quran. Sh- shout out the Quran. And my homie <laughs> Mohammed. So you're like a full-on serious Muslim, then I'm assuming. Uh, uh, no alcohol, yeah, yeah. no no smoking. He is a fraud of a Muslim, <laughs> 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 but he does do Ramadan. He's been doing it like a good Muslim. So shout yeah. out. I mean, that's good. Yeah. It's at least something. And then after the morning, I was with my friends in the center for a while. Uh, is it Rambrand Plaza or something? Rembrandt, the artist, Plaza. Rembrandt. I remember when I first came and like we went out to the center. I mean, these are the Dutch specialists. I'm sure they know. Rembrandt, right? <laughs> Rembrandt, the artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I'm Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. You, you took me there. And, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, we went there. It's uh-huh. uh, it was really nice because like the signs clearly say 95 euro fine for drinking. Everyone just had a beer <laughs> in their hand, so that was nice. Um, came back home, had dinner, and then went to a party at night. It was really fucking nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so I just worked. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm a delivery driver. So I was doing my deliveries. And I mean, I still got to see a bit of the city and how it looked like. Then the police came and kicked everyone home because COVID. Wow. Um, and then I kept working a bit and then I went home and crashed. And that was it, dude. It was kind of sad. But the reason I was working is because I got a bonus for working on King's Day. So all at right. least that. You're, you're, you were all about that hustle life then. Yeah, uh, sort of. Do, 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 you, do you party it up or... Yeah, yeah, I do party up, but during COVID, it's been kind of dead. I like, I don't like the idea of big parties. Let's say during okay. COVID. Okay. You're also, play, you're playing it safe. Yeah, kind of, because like as I said, I, for example, I need to go see my family in Denmark, right? Yep. And I don't want to be bringing COVID there. That would be kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, horrible, yeah. I think. Um, how did How did you guys celebrate King's Day? Since you are Dutch, you know. Yeah. So uh, for me, I basically celebrated it with my housemates back in Eindhoven. Uh, um, we just kind of winged it. We just said like, all right, let's go to a park. Um, some people invited some friends. I think in total we were with like 10 people, but these are all people that see each other frequently. So no, no new contacts or anything. And, uh, yeah, there were a bunch of students in the same park, people playing sports. Uh, I don't know. Everybody was just having a good time, enjoying the weather, drinking a lot of beer. Good times. Yeah. What about you, Liz? Well, I just went out with my housemate and her friends, um, and we just sat in the park as well, drank a bit, had a bit of food, especially like the strawberries were on discount. So that was really good. All right. Speaking about food, by the way, what the hell is Dutch food? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> is this a civilization or what? Dude? What What are you doing? Okay. So I want to come back on the fact that you roasted me last episode on my sandwich. Um uh, okay, so let me clarify. I mean, it yeah, was... To be fair, you can't really call a cheese... You put cheese on bread. You can't really call that a sandwich. Okay, but like... Toasty, it, yeah. Not a, co- not a sandwich. Imagine growing up in a household with, with two moms instead of... <laughs> and still not knowing how to make a sandwich, bro. And like, that's Just the saying. most like complicated dish that you know is like cheese on bread. That's because they're gay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean so to. it's you, kind you of cook growing up gay, with two way. dads. Oh, true, true. Yeah. Sorry? It's kind of the same as growing up with two dads. Oh, that's true. Um, My brother's gay, though. He cooks well. So. Ah, know. shit. Um, but also. By the way, if you hear noise in the background, we literally have a cat who's a football player. <laughs> and she, uh, yeah, she runs around the ball, like, kicking it around. Yeah. It's kind of nice. Uh, but, yeah, the sandwich was supposed to be just to take with me and to be good for hours, you know? And if I bake an, like, make an egg or something then that's not good hours right later. right it's it's robust it's uh, practical yeah, exactly but i 
do know that the Dutch cuisine is quite shitty. Yeah, this this is something I was saying, right? Like for for the purpose that that it served, it was good. But like I also know the Dutch people be eating that at home when they have time <laughs> as a lunch, you know? For, to to an Italian, like you would kill him if you gave him like some bread with a slice <laughs> of cheese on it. It's like if we were to ask you like what's the one dish that is symbolizes the Netherlands? Like what would that be? Like what's that? I don't dish? even know, bro. Like I have yeah. no clue. Uh, okay, so Italian food, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So typical Dutch food Take is out. like no, it's called stompot. Stompot. Which is mashed potatoes with. Um, so why carrots. haven't I eaten that in like years? <laughs> That's your problem. It's it's. I, I live in like a fully Dutch student house. But it's not good, you know. It's like very yeah. bland. So <laughs> yeah, that, I'm not hyping a it up. Theme amongst <laughs> Dutch food. I, okay, croquettes kind of nice. No, I I see like the national dish is kapsalon, dude. Kapsalon, yeah, and it's, yeah, and it's that's not good. E- and it's not even Dutch. That's good. Doner kebab, yeah. yeah. Nah, I mean we, I guess yeah, we're so. the the nation that really has like all the cuisines, right? Because we just combine everything, we we import all the foods and stuff. So yeah, right. we're really multicultural in that sense. But yeah, yeah, I mean one thing I do know is like the Dutch food was so bad that like the Dutch literally went out to colonize just to get a few spices, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, so are you are you putting up no defense for the Dutch cuisine other than like they're good at mixing other okay. people's food? So I think why we or like a lot of people eat bread with like cheese as breakfast and lunch is because they believe it's nutritious. Uh, I've actually heard a lot of Dutch people say, oh, no, I'm not going to eat warm for uh, lunch because there's a lot of fats in it and it's way bigger so it's more calories so they think it's way healthier to just eat bread and cheese uh, also because they think that bread is filled with a lot of fiber which is not that much no i mean it depends what bread you're getting you know? true but also isn't like one of the reasons why you have bread and cheese is because it's quick and like you can just have it in the morning and like you just go out to work and you don't enjoy life uh, and it's just like really systematic maybe it's that too but <laughs> <laughs> i i'm i i do know that there's no, a lot I, of people believing it's yeah healthy. i'd say like as a like defense point for the dutch cuisine it's it's like productive food right so you you i don't really think of dutch food and i think of like unhealthy like sauces and very fat or uh, very salty foods it's pretty bland but you know it gets you through the day and the next morning you're not gonna have like a fat belly full of shit basically all right fair 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 argument practical yeah not saying i like the taste but <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna say. All right. Um, all right. I th- okay. I think you guys have um, you've talked quite a bit about the Netherlands, so I think you, yeah. You, thank you for being experts. <laughs> You're welcome. No um, problem. So I just want to ask one last thing, right? And this is more for Lisa, I guess. Uh, as a representative of the LGBTQ community, uh, what do you think of the fact that Ka- fuck? I'm gonna mess this name up. Caitlyn Jenner is now running for governor of California. Do you even know who that is? <laughs> I do. Hey, let's go. <laughs> of course, I do know who she is. Uh, I mean, I haven't heard about that, but uh, I think it's uh, great that there's transgender, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Running. She's transgender, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not sure if she has the qualifications. I it's mean, she, okay, so this was her statement, right? She came out with, she said... Um, For the past decades, we have seen the glimmer of the golden state reduced by one party rule that places politics over progressive progress and special interest over people. Sacramento needs an honest leader with a clear vision. Now, someone who can represent the LGBTQ community, what do you think about that statement? How did Ma- how did Mattis manage to make this a political thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But it's kind of a fiasco. She put no policies out there. Uh, and one thing that I think is quite funny, so she is transgender, but she famously came out against gay marriage, which is kind of ridiculous, I feel like. So she she's also going to be a Republican and she's very conservative. And it's like one big show. And I think she's only doing this for merch because that's like the only thing you can find on her website. It's like buying by merch. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Yeah, so I don't support that too much then, I guess. Um, also, like a lot of the generous and Kardashians from I feel like they are doing things I'm like why like how like they seem really dumb right right and then Kim Kardashian is becoming a lawyer or trying to become a lawyer right that's also like 
how do you, you know what happens when you get really rich at some point you're like what if we just pretend to do normal people things you know like we pretend to work hard no but i kind of i kind of like that though of, of like how <laughs> no no, no he, hear, me, hear me out hear i'm me out, now right? defended yeah. no, hear me out like what kim kardashian is doing like she's actually helping people out and i'm like i'm for that it's like if you can help people out and like you're also trying to learn something to try and help people out i'm like all for it like who cares if you're like rich who cares if you're doing it for the publicity in the long run if it's like positive i'm i'm for it right but you know who else is trying to help people out actual lawyers bro <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> yeah and she's trying to become an actual lawyer as well you know all right we'll see we'll see but would you vote for Ka- uh, Caitlyn Jenner? Definitely not. Oh, another fun fact. She killed someone with her car and she got away with it. Um, so, you know, just rich people things. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll see how she does. But okay, I mean, do you guys want to say anything now that you have the, the ear of the people on you? No. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm curious where this podcast will go, guys. Oh, oh yeah. it's always on YouTube, bro. Midnight Kebab Podcast. Midnight uh, Kebab. All right. Midnight Kebab Podcast. That is us, man. And we Shit. post every Monday uh, at some point during the day. It's never the same time. We, we can't schedule it. <laughs> did we do music of the week? No, we did not do music of the week. We, 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 should, we should just quickly do it. Like, just no. say what your song is and I'll just say what my song is. N- nah, because I love this band. <laughs> and I love my song too. Yeah, we, we'll save it. No rush. No, let's just say it. All right, f- fuck it. Yeah. All right, go, go ahead, bro. Um, my song that I brought this week is called Egyptian Lover. It's, uh, I don't know who it's by, but I know it's featuring Amine. And yeah, that's about it. What's your song? I got on the radio by the Flavians. So go check that out. Spotify as always. Do you guys have any good music that you might want to share? Any good song you've been listening to recently? Or is it quite dead? No, I, I mean, I uh, I rock with Doja Streets. Yeah. I think that's a dope song. No comment. No comment. All right. We'll, All right. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, we'll check yeah. it out. Hey, yo, thanks uh, everyone for watching, or listening, I guess. Yeah. Um, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. It's been uh, real. Oh. Standing on the shore, looking into the horizon One by one the waves whisper help, we're dying Witnesses will not find the peace among the clueless Listening to Bowie we sing the word is not something you can change You gotta talk into the mic, please. Sorry. You, you can grab it actually if you want. Like, it's fine. All right, all right. Sorry. <laughs> Play with it, you know. It's... All right. <laughs>